Welcome back to my bus conversion. I'm so excited to show you guys everything I've been working on. It's been a while since I've recorded anything and I also was sick for like a week. Um, and then my allergies have been super bad so I haven't worked on days in like two and a half weeks kind of. But I'm excited to get back into it and I wanted to give you guys a little tour of everything that I've done so far. So let's do it. episode I will be working on the door for my closet um, if you have watched the other episodes of the bus conversion you know that I was gonna use this mirror for the door of my bus for my closet but I accidentally broke it <laughs> so I thought it'd be fun to make something instead so it gave me an opportunity to be creative and um, I have my own touch on it so yeah I'm wearing a mask right now because the pollen has been so bad and my allergies. So that's why, if you think I'm crazy for wearing a mask outside, that's what I'm doing. <laughs>
So today, I found this yesterday, this bed frame and this shelf down there um, for free on the side of the road and so I thought I'd try and make something really cool with it so we'll see how that goes. Hello there, so I just went to Home Depot today and was going to go get some insulation for one of the walls so I can start on my kitchen and I ended up getting two things of insulation and three pieces of plywood for what I expected to buy just one piece of insulation for. So just a little rant here for a second, not really a rant but gosh, this is such a weird angle, I don't know why I'm doing it right here. <laughs> but <sighs> the universe is benevolent and the more that you follow your heart the more that you do things you love and do things out of excitement the more abundance and joy and success will come your way through it and I'm a walking example of that my life is that example so it's not just something I'm saying, it's something I'm actually experiencing. And you can too. It's some work, but you're here to experience all the love that is available for you. So let's start cutting some insulation.
All right, so I'm done for the night. I've done a lot of this wall. I'll show you guys in a second. It looks so crazy, um, but I'm super tired and kind of want to just go to bed now. It's like 9.30. I started at like 8, so I've been working like an hour and a half-ish. Um, <clears throat> but I'm going to finish the rest tomorrow and then start working on the wall as well. But it's so awesome not seeing that ugly spray-painted wall that's I've been looking out for the past like five months now. So look! Ta-da! Like even though it's just insulation, it looks so much cleaner and nicer and I just have to do like a little bit right there and then these little corner guys. But I'm so excited for it! Yay! So I ended up getting all the insulation done and now I'm going to make some templates for the windows so that I can cut some plywood to fit the wall correctly. So here we are, I got the stencil right here for all the windows and you can kind of see the lines. Um, I'm gonna start cutting soon. I traced out all the windows and hopefully I measured correctly. Let's see. All right, so this is the first half of the wall. Um, this first one, clean. Right on the money. Second one, a little iffy. Third one, real iffy. It's like it just cascaded down. But, other than that, like see right there, but other than that, everything else looks really good. So I'll just have to figure out what to do about that later. I gotta have the wall up. I gotta have the wall up. Come on! I'm so excited. This is awesome. Alright, so today I'm starting on my kitchen. I'm so excited. I have everything laid out. As you can see, um, got everything set up and I am about to start. It's going to be a little tricky. It's not exactly how I planned it to go. Um, I'm, I'll just show you as we go and kind of explain things. So let's do it. Alright, so I'm going to be making this one of like the drawers or doors or however I'm going to do it. I think I'm going to have it to where it opens up down 
and so this is like the cabinet in my body and then it closes back up like this um, so I'm gonna measure this out and kind of get them get it all right Alright, so so far this is the front of the um, kitchen cabinet area and that window is going to go right here and kind of fold out like I was talking about. And then this is the back. I had to do this one a little differently because, um, let's see, so I'll show it to you when I get into the bus too, but the second window has like an emergency exit and so I have to cut kind of a hole so I can still reach it and so that the, the whole window is open um, and so this will be kind of like a divot in the here I'll, I'll set it up and show you so there's going to be kind of like a plant holder that sits right there because the window is going to be right behind it so for now I finished up that's the back of the cabinets that's the front and I have all of the connecting pieces that go between them and I'm going to do that inside the bus because once I do that, it's not going to be able to fit inside the bus, like fit through the door. So I'm going to bring it all over there and figure that out. Guys, I did it! Obviously, there's still more to do. I have to do this side. This wood piece isn't like in yet, as you can tell. <laughs> but this side is done for the most part. I can't believe it's done! Not done, but you know. You can see the vision now. Um, this is what I was talking about earlier, how this window has to be open, so that's why I did it below. So the, cab the countertop's gonna be here, but there's gonna be a little drop. And have some plants and stuff right there. Yeah. <laughs> but then that's looking so good. I don't know, I'm gonna show you guys like walking in. I haven't experienced it walking in either. And it really like brings the space together even more. It's a mess, but yay, that's insane. So at the beginning of this episode, I did a little quick just shots 
of everything, but I wanted to do like a full tour of everything that's happened in the bus. And it's gonna have everything that we I've worked on in this video so far and everything I've worked on obviously up to this point. So let's do it. All right, so this is on top of the driver's seat. Here's the steering wheel. And so we have, this is gonna be Zeppelin's old play spot. I told you guys about that already in a past video. And this one is gonna be just storage. So I'm gonna have like a door closing all this off. Um, and then this you guys haven't seen yet. Um, it's actually gonna be, I haven't even completely decided, but I think I wanna, want it to be like an open display um, with some cute shelves and <clears throat> stuff, maybe for my art supplies. I haven't decided yet. So that's gonna be a, a decision later on in all of this. Moving on, here's my closet. You guys have seen my closet before. Um, I'm just gonna hold it while I do this one. So this is where I'm gonna hang all my clothes. I still haven't put the bar up yet. Just don't feel like doing it yet. So I'm actually storage up here, and then there's some storage right here, and then down below there is gonna be Zeppelin's litter box, which I'll figure out, I'll try and explain that a little bit more right now, actually. All right, so that's a closet I just talked to you guys about. The bottom of Zeppelin's thing is gonna be, here. his cat litter is gonna be under there. And here's one of my seats. I'm gonna have a little table right here, cute and all. And it's my toilet. So this will lift up and you can kind of see there's a bucket in here that I'm going to be only for emergencies using. <clears throat> Um, I'm gonna actually make a whole like DIY compost toilet, but that's just sitting there for now. And it actually, if you can kind of tell, it goes all the way through to the bottom of the closet. So I'm gonna actually have a fan that's gonna vent outside of the bus from inside here so that it blows all of Zeppelin stuff and all of my stuff <laughs> out of the bus. And also, there's a little bit of storage. This is gonna fold down as well. A little bit of storage in here that you can get to. Um, but yeah, that's that. And here's my kitchen. This is what I built in this episode. Um, so you remember that window I was showing you guys? It's gonna be right here and going to fold out and like, Kind of like this and this is going to be like a big storage area for probably pots and pans and a bunch of other stuff um air fryer blender all that stuff and i'm gonna have two just crates in here that i can just pull out and pull back in um i haven't de decided if i'm gonna do a fridge yet or like what i'm gonna do right here I have to put a sink in here as well, but I still haven't decided about that. Um, <clears throat> I want a lot of counter space, and so I don't want to have all of it be a sink and be taken up by that. <clears throat> um, so I might be doing the sink right next to the counter. Um, I'll show you guys that soon, but let's see. So here's the countertop, and I was explaining to you guys how I'm gonna have like a little flower bed under there, which I think will be super cute. And then right next to it, I was wanting to have like an altar kind of set up there with some storage and stuff, but I can't decide if I wanna put my sink there instead. So we're gonna figure that out. But here's my bed area. You guys know that area. But I did make this off of without shooting or like filming it. I made some little shelves right here, which I think are super cute. Um, I'm gonna stain them all and figure everything out about that, but that's what they are for now. Cute. And then you guys know all this up here. I'm gonna have like regular daily clothes, shirts and shorts in there. And this is gonna flip, this flips down and I'm gonna have my socks and underwear in that part. Um, and then here's my bed. It's really kind of annoying. I I love sleeping in here because I want to like get used to it. And I want my like Zeppelin to get used to it. But the thing is, the the whole bus is at like a super big tilt because I'm literally like in the woods where I'm building this. And 
it's really, it's more challenging than you think to sleep sideways, like crooked a little bit. It, it actually is like kind of uncomfortable. And you like slide down the bed at night. Anyways, other than that, I love it. And I wish I could not have it be tilted like that, but I can't do that at the moment. And then here's under the bed. It's really just like messy right now and I have no idea what I'm gonna do about the front face of the bed right here. <clears throat> That's gonna be figured out later on in the build. Also, I forgot about this area that I meant to show you guys. I think it's in this episode. I can't remember. Um, but this is like my console, my driver's seats right here. Um, I'm gonna put some like baskets and stuff on this wall over here to just hold things while I'm driving. And then this is gonna be some storage. Here's the door, it's gonna open up like that. And yeah, a little fancy fancy. And then this is gonna be some shoe storage and I don't know what else yet, so we'll see how that goes. Thank you so much for joining in on this episode of my bus conversion. I'm so excited to be back into it. I'm very much more inspired again. I have so much more energy. I feel so much better after being sick and allergies and all that crap. And I'm gonna be working so much harder on everything and getting it done because it's halfway through May right now and I wanna get on the road by August. So, and I wanna get on the road before that. I wanna take like a small trip um, in July. So hopefully I can do that. We'll see, um, maybe get some help on here and figure it out as I go. So. Thank you so much for watching this episode and I'll see you guys in the next one. Follow if you enjoyed this so that you can see all of the episodes and also my travels after that. I hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.